Tsunami Basics, What Mariners Should Consider, brought to you by the National Weather Service located in Monterey, California. A distantly generated tsunami has occurred. What do you do? Although time is of the essence, don't panic. Depending on the location of the tsunami generating earthquake, you could have up to 10 hours to prepare. Listen for official messages from the National Weather Service. Is it a watch, warning, or an advisory? Listen to what your emergency management officials are saying and heed their recommendations. Respond to your local emergency management officials' recommendations. You may be advised to seek safe harbor in deep water, or you may be advised to evacuate to higher ground. The National Weather Service issues four types of tsunami messages. The initial message may be a tsunami watch, which means that an earthquake has occurred that may result in a tsunami. Stay tuned for more information. If a tsunami is generated and widespread inundation of the land is imminent or occurring, a tsunami warning will be issued. Please evacuate to higher ground. A tsunami advisory is issued when a tsunami has been generated but little to no inundation of the land is expected. However, strong currents are imminent or occurring. Please move away from the shore, harbors, and marinas. Finally, the tsunami information statement is a heads up to let you know that a distant event has occurred and we are looking into it. No action is required at this point. An earthquake has occurred near your location and has generated a tsunami. What do you do? In this case, Mother Nature will provide you with a tsunami warning. The first sign will be the vigorous shaking of an earthquake. Protect yourself by crawling under a sturdy table or desk. Stay under the shelter holding on until the shaking has ceased. Remain under cover for at least 20 seconds after the shaking has ceased. If by the water, look for a rapid withdrawal of water from the beach and listen to the ocean. You may hear the ocean rumbling louder than usual. Respond. If you are on land or tied to a dock, leave your boat. You may not have time to save it. Walk or run quickly to higher ground. Remember, in most cases, you only need to move 20 feet above sea level to find safety from the tsunami. If you are on the water near shore and you can reach shore within 10 minutes, do so. This is your best bet. Once on shore, abandon ship and head for higher ground. If you are on the water and it is not possible to make it to shore quickly, head towards deep water. The rule of thumb is safety can be found at a water depth of 100 fathoms. Potential impacts at harbors. During a tsunami warning, deep water wave heights could exceed 3 feet. This translates into a large, long lasting rise of surging water and inundation of dry land. This will also result in extremely strong currents in open water and in harbors. Although the open water wave height will not be as large during a tsunami advisory, only 1 to 3 feet, still expect strong currents in open waters as well as in harbors and ports. The release of energy as the tsunami wave enters the shallow water of ports and harbors is tremendous. This release of energy will result in damage to boardwalks, docks, and boats. Strong currents associated with the tsunami waves will undermine moorings, rip boats from moorings, and damage docks. Extreme tidal variations can sink boats moored in shallow water. Extreme low water can result in boats bottoming out, especially keel boats. Deciding whether or not to take your boat offshore. The rule of thumb for safe water depth is 100 fathoms. Be sure to ask yourself the following. How big is the tsunami? How much time do I have? Am I capable of navigating offshore? Is my boat prepared to spend 48 hours offshore? What about the weather and sea conditions? Remind yourself, there will be strong currents. There may be rogue waves. You may have to remain offshore for some time. Most importantly, be prepared. Know your vessel's capabilities. Know your own capabilities. Know the distance and how long it takes to get to deep water. Know the offshore weather and sea conditions. Have enough fuel, fresh water, and food. Have a plan. Keep extra fenders around if you plan to stay in the harbor. In summary, if a distantly generated tsunami occurs, don't panic. Stay calm. You have some time to prepare. Listen for official messages from the National Weather Service. 
listen to what your local emergency management officials are saying, and heed their recommendations. Finally, respond by listening to your local emergency officials and heed their recommendations, even if it means leaving your boat. Remember, if a local tsunami is generated, listen to Mother Nature. The earthquake will be your first warning. Respond accordingly. If at the harbor, leave your boats and head to higher ground. If in the water, heading to deep water may be your best bet. Remember to always be prepared and know the weather and sea conditions before you go. Here are some links to additional information about tsunamis. Special thanks to the California Emergency Management Agency and the California Geological Survey. For local weather and tsunami information, please visit us via the web, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. As always, you can give us a call at area code 831-656-1725.